Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Kulu Linux. Um, so I've done a couple of teaser videos on this edition, but uh, you know they just teaser videos and they don't really give a lot of information. So I thought I'd do a nice little quick overview. I won't do too too detailed, you know. I'll leave that for the reviewers. But I just want to uh, uh, do a quick overview of this uh, Aero edition and what it's about. Because I have a lot of people asking me questions about it, and they don't seem to really have much of an idea of what it's actually about. Okay, so this started off as a fun build. Okay, um, it was a community request. People sent emails in. People spoke about it in the chat channel, and everybody asked, you know, when is Makula doing a sort of a Windows edition kind of thing? And I didn't want to because there are already too many Windows clones out there in the Linux world. So I wasn't very keen on doing this version, but then I thought to myself, well, you know, um, I was kind of bored a little bit and kind of played with it, and I thought, well, maybe I could do something that is sort of like Windows, but not like Windows, you know, sort of put my own flair to it or whatever. And since everybody else chooses XFCE, you know, virtually every clone out there of uh, Linux clone of Windows is all based on XFCE and mostly focused on uh, Windows XP you know I thought well why don't I do something a little bit a little bit more that's uh, popping you know something a little bit more modern and so I chose cinnamon and of course the arrow look the sort of Windows 7 kind of look and um, so yeah that's how this build came together so what started out as a fun build actually became a really serious solid solid piece of work um, so it's based on cinnamon 2.4.8 uh, based on Debian testing at least the, the, the testing repos I don't do respins I build from scratch I keep getting people referring to my work as respins I don't know why I don't take somebody's work and respin it you know I build from scratch when I start there's nothing there's no not even a uh, 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 xorg installed on the system. There's nothing on the system. I built from scratch. Just want to make that clear. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the only thing that I use from Ubuntu and Debian is just their repos. That's the only connection I have to them is their repo servers. In fact, I probably use the same tools to build that they do. You know. Anyway, um, right. So this is obviously on based on the testing repo, which means the core updates come through and will come keep coming through forever. Okay, it's got the latest uh, Cinnamon 2.4.8 for for Debian um, that's currently installed, and the system is not a Windows clone. I just want to make that clear. It is not a Windows clone. It is a Linux distro. The I've just designed it to feel s familiar to Windows to the Windows crowd. Okay, so you're going to see a lot of things that are not very Windows like and you're going to see a couple of things that kind of feel almost like they are Windows like. Okay, so it's just enough familiarity in the system so that a Windows user would be comfortable. But at the same time, there's enough Linux in there to make a Linux user comfortable. So it's almost like a blend of both worlds if if you if, if you get what I mean. And you'll see in a second what I what I'm talking about. But anyway, let's get to see what's under the wood okay so when you boot up you're gonna get the familiar desktop that you always get in the Makulu distros and that is your two icons on the desktop your computer and trash and if you have anything mount any mounted volumes they'll show there as well um, you'll get the clock and calendar at the top right you below that you'll get the quotes system the quotes change every two hours uh, the wallpaper changes every two hours now these are not conky then not conky uh, features or whatever the the clock the calendar the quotes and the desktop wallpaper are all controlled via the wallpaper changer okay so when when the wallpaper changes these the the, the the quote changes as well and of course the clock updates itself all the time um, I'll show off the wallpaper I'll get to the wallpaper changer in a bit but I just wanted to say they're all three linked because I keep seeing reviewers referring to these two as uh, conky they're not conky Okay, the bottom panel, of course, is traditional style. All the Makula distros come out with a panel at the bottom. You can always move that to the top or add a second panel if you want, if that's your preference. But out of the box, you'll get a bottom panel. It's uh, semi-transparent. As you can see, the grass shines right through it. It's quite nice. Um, 
the uh, bottom panel obviously hosts your indicator icons on the bottom right which is obviously your clock and calendar your bluetooth your update manager uh, wallpaper changer your power your sound and your network okay so that's all over there you also have um, um, system indicators that that notifications which doesn't show now because there's no notification but if there is it, it will actually pop up a little notification here next to the network on the other side you have uh, sh um, four quick launch uh, five quick launch icons which is your files web browser terminal your software manager and a quick app get update with a single click okay next to that you'll also have your menu now unlike the all the other makulu editions i did not put in a dual menu in this edition mainly because um, if I was going to go for something that the Windows users would be comfortable in, they are not comfortable in dual menu system. They don't know it. It's not something they use all the time. So I've only included one menu here. Okay. Um, every other distro, I usually put in a dual menu system. And the only reason for that is I like the quick search of Synapse. Okay. So that's the reason I usually put them in all the other distros. Um, right. If you actually have a look at the menu itself, this looks very much like the Windows 7 menu and it's got a, a very similar feel to the Windows 7 menu you know if you click all applications it actually changes categories and the apps and so forth this menu is very 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 um, flexible you can edit it like crazy you can make it look like anything the settings is insane on this um, the guy that made this it's just brilliant as you can see there is many 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 settings the current design is for the menu layout is Windows 7 but as you can see there is so many layouts you can make it look like just about anything so this is an awesome 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 menu okay I've got two sets of favorites actually this is favorites that's accessibility options okay but two sets of favorites on the left you've got your favorites to your apps and on the right you've got favorites to system settings or whatever you want to call them um, so on the right you'll have uh, system settings system monitor package manager software manager update manager software and updates makulu constructor device driver manager and user and groups and this will always be like this unless you change these to something else they will always be on the menu so it's quick launch to all your favorites in your system settings which is very very awesome because these are things that you're going to be using all the time very very cool on the right, uh, left obviously is the files your mail server uh, system cleaner which is bleach but your web browser is um, internet messenger and uh, google paint uh, gnome paint which is a uh, very much like your windows paint okay and then of course uh, you've got your logout um, logout shutdown and lock screens at the bottom here fully functional and if you actually have a look at this menu you'll see that if you look here on top on the left and right whenever I hover over something it actually gives a nice icon on the right and on the left it actually gives the name and the description the same thing if you actually hover over an app here you'll see there on the top here it gives a nice name and description a nice and big uh, okay uh, just hold on hold the line there Uh, sorry for that interruption anyway um, so like I said it's a very very awesome menu I'm gonna go through all the apps in a bit I just want to show off the menu it's resizable as well so you can drag this menu to any pretty much any size you want it's very very cool menu uh, it's got search features as well pretty pretty awesome okay the uh, Nemo that's on here is currently version 2.4.5 and the uh, as I said the let's get here to system info the cinnamon version is 2.4.8 the kernel is the 316.0-4 I think this is 48 it's a 64-bit kernel however I have enabled the 32-bit architecture so you can install both 64-bit and 32-bit libs uh, debs in this distro okay now I just want to move over to probably one of the main features that everybody is going to be raving about and that is the actual uh, themes okay 
so if you actually have a look the default theme it's a very sort of an aero kind of look it's got nice aero borders and everybody keeps asking me why not make the borders transparent that feature is not supported in cinnamon therefore i couldn't make it transparent however the next best thing is to give it this kind of grayish look so that it almost looks like it's a, you know like a, almost a very sort of transparent effect but um that's the window borders the buttons highlight nicely um the look is just brilliant just brilliant in all sense of the word okay it's got very very nice it's shiny it's it's flat where it's supposed to be flat round where it's supposed to be round the buttons highlight nice and blue the um folders and files and if anything you select just highlights nice you know the the text is nice the input box is nice if you actually type anything in there that the, the fonts everything is just nice it's easy to see um so it's a very 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 nice team that comes out of the box um so yeah i'm gonna go through some of the other themes that i have included okay so let's go to themes and and just check out what's under the hood there okay so window borders you get 41 window borders included here they are a selection as you can see the window borders changing there they are a selection of aero themes lunar themes um, you know you can change to blue um, olive green pink silver so you can change you know there's a lot of themes here there's vista themes here there is uh, there is windows 8 themes here you know and they come in all different colors and, and and flavors as well there is even a uh, classic windows classic theme here okay so you've got 41 border themes that you can play with all variations of window border themes that have come out in the last well since classic okay so all the way back to classic 41 border themes that you can play with so you can literally customize your border the way you want it the color you want it So that's very very awesome all included already out of the box The icons you got three icon sets. Okay, since the icons haven't really changed much between windows I'd say windows uh, 7 8 or windows 10 they pretty much all look the same. So this is kind of in that era before that you got the um windows xp and the slash lunar icons i went for the lunar icon so you got a set of lunar icons and before that you got the classic icon set okay so you can change the icons as you can see it changes between classic as you can see there it's very old classic lunar and the new modern icon sets okay so let's put that on classic okay and uh, under system controls of course the controls is this middle section and these buttons and everything else that goes with it under controls you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten control themes okay so the default one is aero and then of course you get aero basic and as you can see it does change there as you can see if i change it between aero and aero basic okay so they're subtle changes but they're there um, then of course you get aero blue which is a very kind of blue looking theme you get aero gray which is a very gray theme you get the plain theme which is a kind of a very plain plain looking theme you get the smooth theme which as you can see looks very smooth okay let's just change this back to that for now just so you can kind of get a feel of the system um, and then you get a lunar control theme which is sort of a xp theme but it's a little bit more orangey kind of thing um, and then of course you get the XP uh, the Windows 8 theme which is a very flat all the buttons are flat everything's flat um, and then of course you get two different Windows XP themes you get the one which is also very orangey but different to the Luna subtle changes but they are there and then of course you get the default XP theme okay so you can change this pretty much however you want okay since I'm basically making a uh, there we go I'm making a very um, classic look here as I'm going along the mouse pointers you get an arrow you get a numix mouse pointer or cursor you get oxy black you can actually see it changing while I'm clicking you get a variety of oxy neon 
all different colors purple green red yellow whatever uh, I'm gonna put next to the arrow I'm gonna put choose the arrow there again and the shell themes you've got uh, one two three four five six seven eight well if you count the default cinnamons eight but otherwise seven different shell themes okay and that's the the basic shell theme if shell theme controls your uh, bottom panel or all your panels actually your menu and uh, any kind of pop-ups from your indicators you know so you got an aero basic shell theme you got a blue gold you know which is uh, blue but gold text um, the blue gray which is the default the default uh, shell theme then you get a very dark one which is a sort of almost like a black but it's uh, sort of transparent then of course you get the gray which is a very gray but it's transparent and then you obviously get the Windows 8 as well and then you obviously get the XP so you get the XP look as well uh, let's just resize this to its proper size there we go done okay so yeah so you've got a huge selection here of uh, themes and and things you can pretty much make your your distro look the way you want it to look you can make it look classic aero uh, you can make it look like um, Luna you can even mix and match the whole bunch and just go crazy so the theming is brilliant you know even if you open up stuff like the package manager for example let's open up the package manager yeah as you can see the pop-ups are nice you can see the buttons I uh, damn it wrong password you can see the buttons highlight nice and blue the text is nice to see very clear the input box is nice even the borders around the input box and you'll see that the skinning here is sort of like a light blue it's very very nice and once again if we open up something like the package manager you'll see that the buttons also highlight nice and blue selection is awesome very visible easy to see very clear uh, text box input box as well so yeah very 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 awesome theme out of the box it looks shiny and brilliant very modern look you know up to date it doesn't look old or dated or anything like that so the themes are going to be one huge aspect that windows or people coming from windows are going to love and they are going to appreciate the look you know this is nice if they used to something like windows 7 they're gonna love this if they're used to Windows XP or something easy to change to XP or Vista or whatever you feel comfortable with so I'm gonna go through the menu now just quick quickly through the menu I'm not gonna focus too much on 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 everything um, but you get a huge variety of apps through here you know you get the default stuff your calendar uh, calculator there's antivirus built in it auto updates once a day I've set that to do that um of course you get your notepad edit uh, leaf pad as your notepad editor it looks very much like the notepad would in windows which is probably why i like it um and of course you get menu edit the screenshot tool you get sunflower which is a a multi multi what do you call it multi tab multi multi partition or multi drive or whatever file manager it allows you to sort of just ignore that it allows you to uh, sort of load two different drives and then copy between them it's got resume features copies very fast very nice um, of course you've got variety wallpaper change I'll get to that in a bit under games okay I've installed a couple of stuff here because this is a test test build that I've got here so uh, uh, by default you get solitaire dream chess you get mayong you get play on linux which is the front end for wine you get sudoku and then you get steam linux and steam windows okay so both steam clients are installed by default um, steam linux is the native linux client for steam and steam windows runs through wine but it is pre-installed just click and play uh, log in and play i've already applied the fixes for the note text on the on the on the you know on the actual interface so don't need to worry about that just log in and play and the graphics you get nice variety Pinter my Pinter which is like a less uh, more beginner friendly version of GIMP uh, my paint image viewer gnome paint simple scan and the internet you got the chromium browser torrent, BitTorrent uh, client deluge you got mega sync 50 gigs of free online storage 
Netflix, Pigeon, Popcorn Time is pre-installed. Normally I wouldn't install this, but this is a fun build and it wouldn't be fun without Popcorn Time. You got Skype and the Office, you got the full WPS Office suit. You got Evolution, which is email client. Um, it also has Gmail features and so forth. So that's nice. Windows users will appreciate that. And then you got a multi-page document viewer uh, for PDFs and so forth. You got the full Wine installed, so you can just run M e exe and msi and .bat files straight out of the box. Just double click them and they'll run. Uh, under video, you've got Audacious, which is your media player. You've got Brazero, you've got Handbrake, which is for ripping DVDs. Don't worry about the icon in the release version, it is there. Like I said, this is a test version that I had installed that I was just sort of using as a demo. A handbrake rips DVDs and stuff, transcodes them. Um, you've got Kazam, which is a screen screen recorder. You've got PTV, which is there. It's like a, your movie creator in uh, Windows, very similar. You know, create, edit, cut, split, join, whatever you want to do, add effects. Um, you've got pulse audio volume controls, of course, and you've got VLC media player. Under administration, you got boot repair, boot info, you got GDB package installer, which is the same as the Windows installer, it's just for Linux. This one, you got Gparted, you got Grub Customizer, you got Mukulu Constructor. So, if you make changes to your desktop, you can rebuild it back into an ISO. Very, very handy. You got the package manager in here, you got the software manager, okay? And the software manager, I think, is based on Mint, the Mint software manager. Let's give that a second to, ugh. let's give that a second to pop up you know I'm running on slow net and in virtual box um, while that's loading you've got uh, system monitor here you've got system cleaning you've got terminal the terminal has a very nice look you know I've uh, uh, made it sort of uh, blend with a the theme where it's the blue text with the gray background you know just everything matches just nicely blends with a the theme um, your software manager, as you can see, is very nice. Icon sets very nice. Skinning is very nice. The theme is awesome. Um, everything just gels very, very cool, very nicely. Everything highlights nicely, clear, crystal clear to see. It's a very nice look. You know, and the buttons once again they highlight nice and blue, sort of like shiny blue. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's just do something like a app kit update so you can actually see how the terminal looks when there's actually text scrolling in it um, as you can see it's also a very nice looking terminal uh, highlights nice that blends with the theme if you actually uh, open something in root open as root and then ugh, sorry man I keep forgetting them um, there we go if you open something in root and then open a terminal you'll see that you'll actually have a uh, Okay, I think that might not be working in this test build, but it is working in the final build. I did test it. Um, if you actually open up a root terminal, it actually is a different color, just to show that you are in root mode. Um, but that does work in the. Don't stress about it. It does work in the final build, which is actually what I should have been using to make this video. But anyway, not the end of the world. Um, the the root terminal is uh, sort of a, like a, a darker orange color, where the default terminal is a gray color, just so you can distinguish between um, normal and root mode. Okay, so that does work in in the final build. I have tested it. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so uh, to come back to the system, it's a very nice system. You get your updates, which will run forever it's 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 very appealing to the you know the look it's very appealing to the eyes it's easy to run easy to manage easy to find things it's packed full of software useful software for like somebody coming from windows it is a perfect system if you are looking to maybe install this on a friend's pc if you're trying to convert him to linux or he's interested in trying out linux he'll find his way around you quite easily you know he'll he'll enjoy this because it is a Linux look, but at the same time, it's also a kind of Windows look, you know. 
it's got the windows theme which makes him feel familiar and comfortable um, but at the same time it's got the linux layout if you know what i mean so that's pretty much in a nutshell what this edition's all about um, it's just a pity I didn't actually show this video on a final build, but hey, you know, it's just a overview, so don't stress too much about that. In the final build, all of this works. Uh, I think we're, there's quite a lot of testers that run through everything that I send out. They test everything, so if something's not working, they're quick to point it out and I fix. Um, anyway, so in a nutshell, it's a brilliant addition. It looks nice, it feels nice, it's very fast. You can see it's very fast and snappy. I mean, I'm using this inside VirtualBox. One CPU assigned, and I think 1.5 gigs of RAM. I can't even remember what I assigned to this. But it, it's very quick, very snappy, it runs like a dream. You know, on actual hardware, this is way fast, it flies. Um, the one last thing I just wanna cover is the wallpapers. Now, the wallpapers are controlled with variety wallpaper changer, okay? You can set the options here if you want to use the default the default background options if you want to change it manually you'll have to disable variety okay but uh, I wouldn't recommend that variety is brilliant in every sense of the word I would rather if I was you I would rather go into preferences and configure how I want my wallpaper to change and just you you know use it in variety it's got a lot more features and the desktop quote and the clock and calendar is just brilliant you know if you disable variety you lose those and that's kind of a bad trade-off anyway so some of the wallpapers included I included a very kind of windows kind of looking wallpaper everything you know windows related is usually sort of clouds and grass and hills and that kind of thing so it's usually very green or blue so um, there's a nice selection of wallpapers here that sort of look very windowsy kind of thing you know so um, users will have a whole bunch of that um, out of the box fully functional very awesome nice nice selection so uh, yeah you can obviously add on to that but out of the box at least you get this nice variety of wallpapers so that's pretty cool so that's pretty much uh, McClue Linux in a nutshell for this edition um, let's change that quote to something else okay so that's uh, out of the box that's pretty much what you get okay you get this very very awesome windows kind of familiar kind of look and feel but at the same time you get the linux layout and and look and feel so it's kind of the best of both worlds for somebody coming over to linux they will really enjoy this you can theme it and style it however you want you've got a lot of apps at your fingertips so looking for apps won't be a problem um, you got an easy software manager um, you got nice theming just all around make it look and feel how you want it so that is basically the new aero edition which I have now it's actually become so popular between the users that I've actually dedicated a second a section to it on the website and I will probably be making com uh, future builds on this so I'll continue this build if it proves to be like continues to be popular I will then obviously just make follow-up releases so it's probably not just a once once off release <coughs> but that's pretty much it out of the box I would suggest you try it give it a spin and see what you think if you have friends that are Windows users and been trying to get them over to Linux this might just be the thing that does it for you this is Jacques uh, look out for our new 32-bit XFCE that's going live at the end of this week that will be both normal and light editions and soon after that probably mate as well uh, it's been fun uh, I'll chat to you guys soon